Okay, are we back? Let's see if we are back. I think we are back. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, we are back. We are back. Thank you guys for sticking around. Dude, literally... I have that F screen enabled, so if my internet drops for like literally a second, it should keep the stream up and running. But I think it's just a server issue, because it should not have fully ended. Anyway, so if you are still seeing an F screen, um, kindly refresh your page. If not, thank you for sticking around. <laughs> okay, back to the game. <clears throat> okay. Already, I feel the all-consuming fires of the creative inferno warming my the cold and blood. It's so creepy. <laughs> when I've completed my labors as midwife to the muse, I'll ship you the Madagascan sunset moth by mail. Okay, cool. Okay, earlier. I mentioned that I have a new villager. So let's go say hi. Oops. <laughs> Just run right into them. Okay. I need to check something real quick. Is there any dropped frames, guys? Like, is frame rate still good? It appears to be good. Nothing too crazy. Okay, I think we are good. Okay, anyway, so my new villager's over here. Dude, I was so excited when I got them. Genuinely so excited. Seems to be Pogs. Let's go. <laughs> Seems pretty pog -o. Look who I got. I got Kiki on an abandoned island. Oh my god. I was so happy. You guys do not understand. Welcome. Please make yourself at home here. Funny D is almost here. When I was little, I used to go hit trees around this time of year to make pretty eggs fall out. I never asked how they got there, or why cocoa trees always had more than others, but now I wonder. Yeah, my goal is to have just cute villagers on my island. That's that's the goal right now. <clears throat> okay. So now that the Easter event is going to be next Sunday, or no, this Sunday, I might stream on Sunday. I don't know yet. Because I kind of want to stream every Animal Crossing event there is. Like, even if it's on an unscheduled day, kind of like how we did on Saturday. But it, sh it just depends on if people are home or not. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to be doing the dailies on the island. And since it is the Easter event, we're going to have to try and get every single egg we can. And eggs will spawn in trees, rocks, pitfalls, and water from the fish. So I find it best to, instead of chopping all of my trees down, because the theme for this island is going to be a sanctuary. We're not going to be murk in all our trees just yet. We do not stand Dior Forestation. I find it best to buy, like, a lot of flimsy axes. That way I can get that extra piece of wood. Because if you use the regular axe, it takes three chops to, like, fully chop down the tree. We don't want to chop down the tree just yet. So, we're gonna be going in with flimsy axes. <laughs> also, hey! You guys know what time it is, right? <laughs> I know we just came back from an F, but it is one o'clock. And you know what that means? It is time for an ad, part of my Twitch contract. I know it sucks. It sucks. But you can avoid that ad for just subscribing for $5 or $4.99 a month. The cost of a Starbucks coffee. Just skip a coffee today and you can subscribe for $5. Or you can link your Amazon account to your Twitch account to get a free Twitch subscription every month. You can give it to me. You can get ad-free viewing and super cool sub emotes. That's pretty Paco. It's pretty cool. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Welcome back to chat. <laughs> but anyway, ad is coming. We will see some of you guys in a few minutes. Okay. 
There we go. Okay, back to game, back to game. Oh, frick, I scared the bug. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I also, okay. On Saturday, I was I was planning on rearranging my flower garden, but fishing turned into longer than I anticipated. So. <laughs> yeah, go get food. Oh, bye, Issa. I appreciate you coming in and hanging out with us as always. I appreciate you clipping the stream. I love you for that, man. But I hope you have a good one. Don't work too hard with school, but actually work hard. <laughs> have a good one, Issa. Yeah, go get some food. Get a snack. Get a drink if you need it. Okay, anyway. So I rearranged my flower garden. So I find it easier to have vertical rows because it's just easier for me to water. And I think this looks cool. I don't have tulips yet, so once we get tulips, we'll extend it to this part. But we don't have tulips yet, so I don't have to worry about that. Okay. And yeah, we're going to be doing our dailies. We're going to chop all our trees. I was gonna talk about something, but I forgot. <laughs> I did- I mentioned on Saturday, last time we played, that I- I'm debating whether or not I want to purchase a book that has a thousand questions in it. And like I said, I ha I bought the preview of the book that has like 25 questions. So I might break that out later. <laughs> oh, there's a big fish. We need it. We need it. Dude, there's so many people here. I- I'm getting socially anxious right now. There's way too many people. Oh my god! I missed it! I thought it was gonna be a four tapper. But it was a three tap. Yeah, more book, Pago. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I'm excited for it. I'm excited. <laughs> Look at me. Just working as they're talking. God damn it, I didn't mean to talk to them. Anyway. Okay. And that's why breakfast is better for dinner than it is for breakfast. But, isn't breakfast so breakfast no matter what you're eating? And the same for dinner? Hi, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, feel free, chat, lurk, whatever makes you happy. Okay. You could have... How do I even say this? Uh, um, Spanakoto... Spanakopita. Spanakopita. Okay, I did it. I did it in the morning. And that's what counts as your breakfast. Just like if you had pancakes for dinner, it's still dinner. Hmm. No, no, no. It doesn't work like that. Pancakes are always breakfast, no matter when you eat them. Especially when you eat them for dinner. Wait, now I'm confused. That's okay, Lopez. Don't try not to worry your pretty little head about it too much. Okay, thoughts. Is breakfast food still dinner? Or still breakfast if you eat it for dinner? If I am O. I think because like there's traditional breakfast foods, right? Like bacon, eggs, sausage, all of that matter. But, like, it's categorized as breakfast food. So it's kind of like if you eat cake for breakfast, it is still a dessert, but you're eating it for breakfast. Because to me, the meals refer to, like, the type of food and then also, like, the time of day in which you eat it. But to me, the type of food takes precedent over the time in which you eat it. Because there's somewhat of a novelty eating breakfast for dinner, right? It's like, ooh, you're not supposed to be doing this. Right? Yeah, I totally agree. Like, I will eat leftovers for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't care. Food is food, to be H. I honestly like eating leftovers for breakfast, too. Because if I have food ready to go, I don't have to make eggs. I don't have to microwave my rice. I just have to microwave my leftovers, and I'm good to go. My dad is the total opposite. Like, he has to eat breakfast food for breakfast. So, like, he will- <laughs> He will, like, wake up, like, an hour early. He, he makes breakfast for my mom and himself. Um. So, like, he refuses to eat leftovers or, like, anything besides, like, egg, cereal, and oatmeal for breakfast. 
So anytime he wakes up late, <laughs> my mom freaks out because like she hates cooking in the morning. Sag. There goes our first axe of the day. As you can see, the flimsy axe does not chop many trees down. So in the days in which I've been playing offline, since the the eggs started spawning on Sunday, so two days ago, I've been playing like two hours offline every day. So. Yesterday, Sunday, and I guess today. I might play it a little bit offline today. I don't know just yet. <laughs> like, it depends on how long we go. Like, I, I could stream for longer today, but I'm debating. I'm debating. Like, I'm, I'm still, like, very tired. <laughs> and I was supposed- okay. My mom got mad at me earlier. <laughs> because, um, right now they're getting, like, plants. Like, they're getting, like, tree starters. And they wanted me to, like, help them plant it. But, as some of you guys know, I have, like, muscle issues. So, there are some days where I can't, like, stand up. And some days in which I can't, like, move my arms fully. And I told my mom, I was like, you know, I don't know if I can help. Because, like, literally my arms are numb right now. And she got mad. So, sad. <laughs> anyway. Uh, DMI, but that that's just what's going on with me right now. Don't be concerned. I'm, g I'm going to a doctor in two weeks. So, I should be fine. Yeah, Sag, I know, it sucks, dude. Like, fuck, he scared the fish! That's why, like, I'm- That's another reason why I'm not too good at video games sometimes, because, like, I have limited mobility in my fingers some days, so that's why, if you guys tease me for being mad at Mario Kart, you can- I can call you sexist and ableist. <laughs> like, that'll, that'll be my two, like, go-to cards if anybody bullies me. Of course, my fishing rod breaks. Imagine <laughs> never roasting you again. <laughs> exactly. See, I, I got double protection, man. Oh, dude. Okay. I posted a TikTok on Saturday. And usually my most active days on the platform, like, i.e., like, the most days that my followers are on the app is the weekend. Because I have a lot of, I know I have a lot of younger people following my account because, you know, it's literally baby Nintendo games. But I posted a clip of me playing Mario Kart. All, yes, all the protection, baby! I'm not properly diagnosed. I'm, like, getting evaluated to, like, figure out what the issue is. But it, it's still frustrating because... I I've said this before, but guys, if you're an adult or if you are, like, becoming an adult soon and aren't going to be on your parents' insurance anymore, get that shit figured out because it's best to have, like, a doctor or a primary care physician before something happens, right? Um, I've said it before, but the reason why it took so long for me to find a doctor to like get seen and evaluated is because I didn't have a primary doctor and in order to see a specialist your primary doctor has to like refer you to a specialist right so if you don't have a primary doctor you can't see a specialist so I've been on a waiting list for three months basically and it sucks so please any adults or soon to be adults in chat make sure you have your health insurance shit figured out before something happens because my sister she has she's had her insurance for years I just never got to setting mine up. <laughs> Lol, Lamel. So, if something happens with her, she can literally get an appointment tomorrow and be referred to a specialist in three days. But since I didn't have a doctor assigned to me, I've been waiting for months and it sucks. So, TLDR, make sure you have a doctor before bad shit happens. That, that is our life lesson of the day today. You're still medicated. Hi, Bora. Welcome to the chat. Hope you are doing well today. Yeah, I'm, I'm on um, Washington Apple Care, so still on Medicaid. But, like, I had Medicaid for years. I just, I never, I literally never set up my doctor. <laughs> so, totally my fault, but also kind of not. Oh, Bora, it's been a while since I've seen you. Hope you're doing well, man. But I have some new emotes enabled. I have a boatload of 7TV enabled now. So, have fun with those, man. What were we talking about this stupid healthcare rant? <laughs> oh yeah, me 
I can call people ableist now. <laughs> uh, actually, I can't just see. I, I don't have a proper diagnosis. So one day I can call people ableist. <laughs> I, I'm goofing. I'm, I'm joking. I'm totally joking. It's not good to weaponize your disability. That's kind of cringe and bad and toxic. But also... <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fine sometimes. Like, if people are shitting on you, I think it's fine. Like, clap back. Go off, you know. <laughs> 7 TV. I know Giga Chad. Literally Giga Chad. Um, oh, yeah. I was talking about the clip I posted. Okay, so the clip was basically me playing Mario Kart. And I was in, like, 11th place, I think. No, Vora. Literally, call your healthcare provider and see if you have a PCP set up. Because usually they will assign one to you. I know, I know, Lamal, me too, me too. Um, literally, call your health provider and see if you have a PCP assigned to you and just set up a, a regular checkup. Because only con yeah, dentists are not covered by Medicaid, right? So your dentist is not your doctor. So it's separate. Um, literally, call your doctor or no, call your healthcare provider and see if you have a doctor assigned to you. And if you have one assigned to you, just schedule a, a general checkup, and if you don't have a PCP, literally apply for one today. Because I've been on a waiting list for literally months, and it sucks. Anyway, back to the TikTok clip. <laughs> so it was me playing Mario Kart, and it was just me taking L's as usual. Like, I think I was in, like, 8th or ninth place, and I was saying, like, ooh, I don't like looking at what place I'm in because I know it'll psych me out, right? And I knew... That clip, I was- I knew I was potentially gonna get people, like, shitting on me, right? Cause like, ooh. Cause like, you know how when you're on TikTok, and you get on, like, gamer TikTok, and there's like, like, wholesome gaming clips, and then there's like, the greasy gamer side, where they just like, shit on women all the time, right? So that was a test to see if I would get on the bad side of TikTok, right? And within the first hour of me posting the clip, I got in two sexist comments, and I was like, ooh! Okay, we finally got it. I finally got on the bad gamer side of TikTok. So I deleted them. I reported them. I don't think... I will only block people. I haven't had to block anybody yet on any platform. The only people I will block is if you were, like, being, like, genuinely, like, threatening or hateful. Or, like, if you were, like, want to hate crime me. That's only when I would genuinely block somebody. But I think it's best to report if they're, like, actually being, like, shitheads, right? So, I reported the two sexist comments, because, you know, that's not nice to be sexist towards women. And I deleted those comments. And then I pinned a comment saying, Also, <laughs> if anybody, like, comments mean sexist or saying women bad at games in the mouth, I would instantly delete and, and uh, report. And imagine, imagine after I write that pinned comment, literally, no more bad comments on the video. Imagine a warning actually working. It was crazy, dude. Because, like, <clears throat> in my head, the videos in which, especially on YouTube, that I get, like, shit on a little bit or, like, goofed and gaffed on, like, usually, it'll start with one comment. Yeah, easy clap. I know, right? Like, it actually worked. Um, I'm probably because of, like, little, like, 10-year-olds wanting to troll, and they see that comment being like, oh, shit, she's actually gonna throw hands. <laughs> um... But, like, the videos that I get, like, somewhat a good handful of rude comments on is if I don't moderate it immediately. End me! End me! Literally just kill me! Because if y'all are commenting, and if you see, like, one person being rude, to me, another person coming into, like, that comment section, they, they will inherently see that, oh, if one bad comment is okay, then it must be okay to say mean stuff to this person. So that's why, like, I moderate my chat, I think, fairly well. I haven't had any mean people come in. But I I think on TikTok, I have the right to censor whoever I want. Like, I don't care if I have to delete shit. Like, even if it's, like, slightly rude. I had Okay. I had one TikTok comment where I was, like, talking about how I love Ms. Kip's, like, peepo emotes. And then a guy commented, like, oh, Ms. Kip is an actual asshole. And I was like, um, how about I delete this one? <laughs> Clueless? <gasps> Let me add that right now. Let me add that right now, Vora. Literally add it right now. <clears throat> Do I have the new Kirby? I'm gonna- My sister's gonna buy me that game for my birthday. So we're going to be like playing- We're gonna play Kirby after the birthday stream. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> okay, we've added Clueless to the seven TV emotes. When's my birthday? My birthday is April 24th. So in two Sundays. <laughs> there we go, Bor. <laughs> there we go, just for you, hun. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I think I have a command for birthday. Let me see. Oh, I deactivated it, Sag. Anyway, we're doing a special planned birthday stream. Uh, we are going to be doing- Oh, Bora, I don't think we've seen you for a while. Um, you laugh, you lose. We're doing a viewer submitted you laugh, you lose. So if you haven't already, fill that out. You get to submit your favorite haha -ha YouTube videos and I will laugh to them. Maybe. I don't know. So the things I have announced for the birthday stream is we are doing a you laugh, you lose segment from viewers and then a Mario Kart tournament for potentially prizes, maybe. I don't know. I don't have money, so <laughs> la <-mau. laughs> Um, So mark your calendars, guys. Only plebs will not show up to my birthday party. I think that would be very rude. <laughs> I might not have money soon, Sag. <laughs> You got suspended from work. Oh shit. What you need to do, Bora Bora, you need to make a 10 part story time on TikTok and then pop off. <laughs> With Payla? Okay, okay. You don't have to tell the story if you don't feel comfortable. Um, getting suspended from work sucks. Not saying that I ever have, but I've gotten people suspended. <laughs> I've gotten harassed at work, so we got some people clapped. Anyway, that's the story time for another day. <laughs> it was really stupid. Yeah, I feel like... Like, I've never gotten written up at work. But, like, some people get written up for the stupidest shit sometimes. Like, I had somebody at my previous workplace who got written up and, like, suspended for a week. Because they were late, like, three times. So, like, they were just taken off the schedule for two weeks. And I thought that was, like, absolute bullshit, right? All oh, the managers are cool with you, though? Pago, let's go. He's in, boys. Marked on your calendar? Let's go! I appreciate that, Abe. Um, I, I've been planning the birthday stream for a while. Also, I should not be hyping it up too much, honestly. Um, it's gonna be a good, fun one. We're gonna be doing a lot of shit. Nothing too crazy, though. Like, We might have some special guests on, question mark? Maybe? I'm scheduled. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Um... But yeah, it'll be a fun time. <clears throat> you get special treatment? Are you the guy at work who the managers love and everyone hates? <laughs> I'm goofing, I'm goofing, I'm goofing. <laughs> oh, got a present. You always look out for everyone. Oh, yeah. I was definitely that type of coworker. Like, in my friend groups as well, I feel like I'm the mom type. You know, like, checking in with everyone, making sure everyone's okay. Because, like, especially in the workplace, a lot of people are very... Uh, what's, like, a nice way of putting it? Like, they only really care about themselves, you know? Like, whether it be them, like, being petty or not, like, contributing to a good work environment. But I feel like... A lot of the times, the workers will make the workplace. That's the reason why, like, even if the job is, like, shitty on its own, like, if your coworkers are nice, then you're gonna want to stay there, right? So I think it's important to... <clears throat> like, be respectful and kind towards your co coworkers. Because, like, you have to be them around them every day. It's like, why not make the best of it, right? Oh, so Vori, you're, like, the workplace hero. Let's go. <laughs> That's cute, though. Okay, the last thing I will ask you, Vora. You didn't do anything really bad, right? 
It wasn't anything really bad, right? Because I had a friend, he works in like a, a workshop, and he got like, not suspended, but he was like removed from an area because like... <laughs> he was like not allowed to work in an area anymore because he wasn't technically authorized to work. It was like, it's where they like make airplane parts. So he technically worked somewhere where he wasn't supposed to, and then he just was not allowed to work in that area anymore, so... I think that's fine. Um, but... I don't know. <clears throat> Only involved you, but still. Okay. As long as you didn't hurt anybody, you know. Oh, what what was I doing? I I pressed the wrong buttons. Thing. Cause like when I was working, I was a supervisor, so I got to like w ride up and like fire people. And <gasps> you want to hear the craziest thing that happened at work? So I worked at a food place, right? And the craziest thing that someone did was homies were like vaping in the back room by like the prep table and like while while they were prepping food they were like vaping and shit and like i didn't know because i had recently like taken over that store so like <sighs> sad i need to go get more axes now i guess so like i had no idea what was going on and we didn't know what was going on until like somebody snitched <laughs> <laughs> and then after somebody told us, like a coworker told us, um, we like looked at, looked at the cameras and they were like dead ass just like hitting vapes in the back room. Which like, do it outside. Like, I don't care if you smoke and shit, but just like do it outside. Like, I'm asthmatic so you could like actually kill me with that secondhand smoke. Um, and like also, they would be like hitting their pens and then not change their gloves or not wash their hands and then go back to like prepping food so like actually disgusting right and when we confronted them about it they were like oh the previous manager told us it was okay to do this and okay are all of them like actually fucking brain dead where it's literally illegal to smoke or vape in like most any building nowadays and also illegal in some areas to smoke within like 25 feet of a building and you dead ass thought it was okay to like vape in the back room just because your old manager said it was okay like are you fucking stupid anyway we didn't fire them because of the crew members it was like 90 percent of them who were doing it so if we fired everyone we'd have like nobody working right so they were all like just written up. I, if I if we were fully staffed, I would have fucking fired all of them, because one, it's like just food safety, and also like, what are you doing? Like, are you? If they think it's okay to do that, you like, what else do you think they are doing, right? Like, do you think they're like just? <laughs> I was gonna say, do you think they're like just fucking like shitting themselves in the back room? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it was crazy. It was like crazy shit, man. <laughs> anyway, so I think that's like the craziest thing I've had to write someone up for. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I know. Dead ass. This was a different time. I saw somebody scratch their ass. Like in their pants. Like scratch their actual asshole. And then go back to like prepping food without washing their hands. And I'm like, literally, what are you doing? Literally. And like, people wonder why you get sick from fast food all the time. It's literally because people aren't following food safety basics. Oh, I don't have huh? I thought I had huh? I thought I did. Do I not? <clears throat> the one without the background? Which I've seen like multiple versions of huh? But I personally like the one where it's the turtle from Over the Hedge. I like that version a lot. I think it's funny. <laughs> end me. Actually, end me. 
Okay, since we're waiting for that cutscene, I can add, huh? Well, okay, let's let's see which seven TV hunts there are. <laughs> Vorge is out here making me add shit live. I mean, to me, emotes are for chats, entertainment, so I think it is valid. Let's see. Um. Oh yeah, it's the guy like shaking his head. Um. I like the turtle one a lot. I think that one's funny. Okay, huh? Is added to the channel. Test it out. Test it out, guys. <laughs> clean. <laughs> I love the clean one. It's so fucking funny. Okay, uh, I need to drop off some shit. <clears throat> if you guys can't tell, I'm a hoarder, and I <laughs> I don't have enough space in my storage yet to like keep all this inside my house just yet. So that's why there is junk all over. Yeah, I think I saw the penguin version of clean, and I think Miz gives chat, and I was like, I need to add that right now. It is so good. <clears throat> Yeah, I think the the vaping inside has to be the craziest work story in terms of like employees doing shit. Um, the only thing I've had to ri ri write up people for before was like not washing their hands, which is honestly really common. So homies, if you guys ever go to a subway and you see them, I mean a subway, a subway, not a subway, a subway saved. If you ever go to a subway and you see them not wash their hands or like put on gloves with um put on gloves without washing their hands, tell them politely to wash their hands because they need to do their job properly. Hi Junior! Welcome to the chat. Hope you're doing well today, man. Thank you for coming to stream. It's been a hot minute. But I know you have school, so <laughs> no problem. I, I appreciate seeing you, man. I know, it's like, how do people not wash their hands? It's simple shit. That's like kindergarten. <laughs> like, I swear, little five-year-olds are more diligent about washing their hands about some 22-year-olds sometimes. It's cringe and not cool. <clears throat> oh, I got all these already. Oh, wait, I did it. I don't think I... I hit the rock here. I think I forgot to do that. Because I need more fish eggs and then more rock eggs. I believe. Ooh, this was a jackpot. Infinite egg glitch, guys. I have found it. I'm not clickbaiting. <laughs> How am I? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing really well. I'm honestly, honestly, really tired today. But you know, we're pushing through. I wanted to stream. I wanted to chat with y'all because it's been a few days. But I am doing good. How are you doing today, Junior? I think the last time we, we chatted, we were playing like Pokemon Unite, but we're playing um, Super Mario 3D World on Thursdays instead, and then Animal Crossing every day now. Or not not every day, but every day we stream. Oh, Sag, I missed it. Oh, <laughs> bye. It was nice you coming in and saying hi, Junior. <laughs> I hope you have a good one, man. Okay, we're gonna hop. Oh, actually, there's a fish in the pond. I need to get it because I don't. I don't have a lot of pond fish. I'm still debating if I want to terraform my island, but I. I kind of want to keep it as is. Oh, I thought I scared it. Saved. <laughs> I keep moving. How many outlets does my power strip have? That's a random question. <laughs> um, <laughs> I have two power strips. Because, like, 
the ones on the wall have two. And then I have like the what, what would you call like the adapter where it has like it's the strip. And like those have like six to five ports, depending. You're you're from NA, so you should have like the normal plugins. <laughs> what villagers do we have? Actually, let's see. We got we got Kiki the other day. And I was so happy when we got Kiki. Um, we have Lopez. Ooh, I love Ellie so much. She's adorable. We have Ellie, Antonio, our first villager. Lucky was our second villager. Um, Kevin, Benjamin, Bubbles, Simon, Kiki, and Gail. I personally like Kiki, Ellie, and Bubbles a lot. Mainly because, like, I'm a sucker for, like, the quiet, cute characters. Like, dude, if we get Aurora back one day, I'm gonna actually cry on stream. I miss her so much. But I know it's cringe. I know it could be seen as... Um... What's a good word to say? I have a joke. I, I'm like, should I say the joke? I don't, I don't mean to be specious. But I like the cute villagers, okay? I don't want no ugly ass motherfuckers here. <laughs> Hello! Welcome to chat. Um, sorry. Azalin. I always forget how to <laughs> say it. Azalin, hope you're doing well today. Oh, you're, oh, you're talking about like if there, oh yeah, if there, I think if there are too many, like, like you said, ports, I feel like it's gonna fail. But, oh, dude, my inventory is like actually full right now. <laughs> But like twelve ports, I think is a lot. That I've I have literally never seen a twelve port strip. Cause like there's only like X amount of power it can handle. Like I feel like it would just like fizzle out. Oh, you ran out of space in room. Okay, I see, I see. J just get another strip. Did it get a get, get another strip? Animals are being crossed. Maybe. <laughs> I don't. I don't think we're. And me. Okay, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Let's die here. I know. I, I know. I could be shaking the trees with the net in hand, but we're chopping today. Literally, not worth. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I decided for villagers: if we have a villager who wants to leave on stream, we will do a vote because this is a democracy. I will let chat decide. Unless it's Aurora, I have to keep Aurora. But. Um, offline, if the villager wants to leave, then I will let them leave. I think that is fair. We'll be playing on viewers next stream. I'm not going to be playing with viewers just yet, mainly because, like, I don't want my friend code public just yet. So we might in the future, but Junior, I know you always ask this one, and that's okay. Um, we are doing a special Mario Kart tournament for my birthday stream on Sunday the 24th. So that will be the one time in which the answer to your question is yes. I will be playing with viewers on Sunday the 24th. There might be prizes. It all depends on if I have money in a week. <laughs> Lamau. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, from this point on, I'm, I'm not going to be playing with people unless like... If I am playing with viewers, then I'll have it in the title. I think that's what I'll do. Imagine having money. <laughs> I know, Limo. <laughs> um, because I might have money this week because I qualify for another Twitch payout. So basically, I'm going to be investing that money back into stream. So no money for Megan, Sag. But you know, it's fine. <clears throat> okay, I need to sell some stuff. Because I'm not working right now, so money low-key is tight. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We struggling, but we living, you know?
Okay. Dude, I am- I am so tempted. I know I said I don't have money, but I have like 80 bucks right now. I am so tempted <laughs> to like order McDonald's right now. Like, I am- I've been debating it for hours now. Because like, you know how when you like, you have food at home? And like, but then you don't feel like eating the food you have. And then you're like, I kind of want to get something else. Little island tour. Um, it's it's nothing crazy, honey. <laughs> like, I I still got bare bones island. Like, if we look at the map, it's literally just houses and trees. So I don't I haven't decorated it all yet. Like, I will decorate at some point. Like, I need to for that KK slider mission. But I think right now, instead of decorating, I need to focus on upgrading my home storage. Hi, welcome, Chad Degon. Hope you're doing well today. Treat yourself. I know. I. That's why I'm on the fence. I'm like, but then like, if I'm gonna order food of everything, why McDonald's? The reason why is because like every other like food delivery is so expensive. Like I would get nicer food from like a nicer place, but literally so expensive, literally not worth because I haven't dined in in a long time. I'm still debating if I wanna go out for my birthday. But, like I'm not gonna go fucking bar hopping because that's DUM and I've never had alcohol. So Lamau, not doing that. For the first time when I'm gonna go out. Um, but I really I we have this nice dim sum like a few towns over and like it's been a while since we've gone there. Like it's been almost two years and dude I would die of happiness if I could have like dim sum. And like you can't get dim sum delivered because it doesn't taste very good after like an hour and like the place is like a solid 40 minutes away. <laughs> So even if we like we just went to pick it up, it would not taste good. Like dim sum is meant to be eaten in the restaurant, you know. Alcohol makes people more intimate. Yeah, dude, I like being around drunk people, but I don't want to be the drunk one, you know? Cause like, I don't know what drunk Megan is like. I feel like drunk Megan would be like super sad and depressed. <laughs> so I don't want to. I don't want to try that just yet. But like, I know I was memeing about how I had ac alcohol accidentally one time, and apparently, I was educated. Because it was like, it was Swedish apple cider, and the alcohol content was literally less than 1%, meaning, it's literally not alcoholic. It's kind of like kombucha to where the alcohol content is like, literally irrelevant. Um. So, I have never had alcohol. Let's go, I am 22. But I've never had alcohol. I think I've also never smoked. So that is, I tell people this and they're like genuinely surprised. They were like, you were never peer pressured when you were a teenager. I'm like, no, nah, I was, but you know, I said, no, I listened to my sixth grade teacher and I said, no. <laughs> yeah. I see. Like, I, I kind of feel like I would be like that too, Bora. Cause like one-on-one -on -one, I'm like, if I'm talking to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, like I can, freaking chat all day but if i'm in a group situation i i i don't like talking because um because like if i'm in a group situation i feel like i have to give everyone else their time to shine and attention for them to say what they need to say then then i just end up not talking and it's awkward but like if i'm if i'm in a one-on-one -on -one voice call with someone like i will talk for hours like <laughs> example um I was playing with MUV last night, right? And we were planning on only playing for like an hour, but we were playing Mario Kart and like just chatting and talking for like three hours. It was actually insane. <laughs> so I can't embarrass myself. Easy, easy clap. <laughs> yeah, cause like I'm asthmatic. So like there's no desire for me to smoke. Cause like if I smoke, I can like actually like fuck up my lungs more, so that does not sound fun. And like, like alcohol to me, because like I don't like not being in control, you know. Oh, dude. Okay. What when like I'm with my friends and they're getting drunk, like they they understand like they don't peer pressure me into it. Like, one of my friends, he'll, like, jokingly be like, Hey, you want some? I'm like, nah. And then he'll stop. Like, he'll goof a little bit. But... 
You can definitely see how their personalities change, and like, I think it's cool and fun, but like, that would scare me. <laughs> okay, sad. So there goes the next thing. Would you recommend becoming a streamer? I think it is fun, but it depends on what you want from it, right? No, I'm gonna jump it down! Okay, saved. I forgot this is the the fancy axe, so the third chop will chop the trees down. Um, Junior, it depends on what you want from it. If you are a miner, I would recommend not getting into it because you already have like your expectations from school, you might have a job, and like as a kid, like i.e. under 18, it like your school life is already pretty stressful on its own. But if you're an adult and you have like control of your own time and income, and you have the time and like money to invest into like the equipment and your actual content, I would say go for it. Like for me, I started because I saw it as like another creative outlet. Like I never anticipated or want to make like good money from streaming because I think this specific type of endeavor isn't sustainable income wise because for Twitch specifically, a lot of your income is viewer submitted. So it's like either people donating money, cheering bits, or subscribing or gifting subs. So that number is not going to be guaranteed like an hourly job or a salary job would be. So definitely, if you are considering it, treat it like something fun to do, right? Because I think the best part about it, now that I have like regulars and like people who come in and say, people who want to talk to me, that to me... I'm capping Lamau, but it's literally the best part of it. Like, like I said earlier, I was I was feeling really anxious this morning, and I was thinking about skipping stream. But then I thought about it. I was like, you know, I haven't seen chat since Saturday. <laughs> no, okay, I thought I scared it. And at its core, this is like one of my biggest like social interactions of the day. You know. Like, just having, like, people, like, strangers, imagine, online who, like, actually want to talk to me is, like, crazy. It's still weird for me to, like, comprehend. But, at its core, it should be fun. Like, don't do it expecting to make money. Don't do it to, like, get famous. Like, do it because you think it's it's fun. And me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, do you have a nickname? Sorry, I feel like, um, Azaline, Azaline, Azaline. Okay, I, I can do it, Azaline. Sounds like Azaline. Or Asmongold? <laughs> um, exactly, like, not a lot of people are successful. And a lot of the people who are in the top 1% are people who started years ago. So they, they've had years to cultivate their content, their personality, their audience. Right, because... As with most any social media platform, the longer you do it for, the more people will find your stuff because you've just been on the platform longer. Because um, I started streaming back in August, and I, I streamed to zero viewers up until January, basically. And in those six months, like, I was boring. I was boring as shit. I didn't talk. I did art stream, so even more so, I wasn't encouraged to talk. But... Um, there's a lot of work outside of streaming besides clicking go live. Like, you have to think... It's not worth getting upset about the bees anymore, honestly. Um, you have to think about, like, what are you posting on your other social media platforms? What are you posting on, like, TikTok, YouTube, that type of thing. Because a lot of my current audience, a lot of them are from TikTok. And if I didn't start cross-posting, I would probably still be a, a zero view Randy. Um, which is fine. Which is totally fine. People grow at different rates, right? Yeah, you're totally right, Aslan. Like, going live is a fraction of the total work you put into streaming. And I didn't fully understand that until I started cross-posting. Like, I understood that, like, it was a lot of work. But once I started cross-posting, I was like, oh... There's so much more that I could be doing to make the stream better or like bring more people in the stream. And I personally choose to invest most of my time into TikTok and YouTube. I mean, basically, the YouTube clips is just reposting the TikTok clips. Um, like, I should be posting more on IG and Twitter, but to me, Twitter, I don't know. I'm indifferent about Twitter because, like, to me, 
it's Twitter you can very much get in your own bubble and like just look at the content you want to see or like the the tweets you want to see and then with IG I feel like there's a lot of um undesirables on IG like i.e people who will like actually sim for you and like I don't want any weirdos in chat you know so like in my chat I want people who like are here to have good conversation or are here to like goof and gaff a little bit you know like I want memers I want funny people like I don't want I don't want people to objectify me or put me on a pedestal like a lot of people forget that um, people online, like whether it be like an influencer, oh, I, I totally missed that. <laughs> whether it be like an influencer or streamer or YouTuber, at their core, they are still people and they still deserve that. <laughs> Mike, you to leave. Maybe, I don't know. We don't know you that well. Don't be self reporting just yet. <laughs> Lamo. Um, but at their core, they are still people, so they still deserve. The same amount of respect as you would treat like someone you know IRL, right? TLDR, be nice to your streamer, respect their rules, respect their personal boundaries as well. So. Anyway, should I get into streaming? Sure, but there's a lot of stuff you should like conceptualize and understand before you start. That's why I like I'll see a lot of like accounts um that'll say last streamed two years ago. And it's like, oh, there was a reason why they stopped streaming, right? Because as we said earlier, a lot of people start it because they think they're gonna get rich and get money, but it's not it's not that easy. <laughs> because at its core, there could be like a million people playing Fortnite, a million people playing Animal Crossing. But ooh, ooh. <laughs> But if they don't like your personality or if they don't like your stream or if they don't like your on or like your voice, then you're just playing a game. Because I know for me, the streamers that I will continuously watch, or not continuously, what's the better word? Consistently! Okay, I, I was close. I almost had the word consistently watch. Or like people who I feel like are good people. Please tell me I have another shovel. Nope. Okay, we gotta go buy more shovels, guys. Dude, thank God, thank God I'm rich, though. Is aware another emote I need to add, Vora? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it is. Okay, well, I was getting shovels. I was getting shovels. Okay, we're gonna buy three, that way I have two extra. Yes, okay, I will add that one later. <laughs> See, like, I feel like I got most of the basics. But then also, I tried not to add any 7TV ones that are, like, mean and bullying. So some of them... What was one? I don't have any sussy emotes because, like, I don't want that on screen. Um... <laughs> like, they're funny, but I don't think it's appropriate. Wait! Azaline, you're- I had- I have a cupcake, right? You changed your username, didn't you? Sorry, I was- cause like... The color and then the snowflake badge, I was like, it looked just like- You changed your username, didn't you? That's why I didn't recognize you- oh my god. Sorry, I was looking through your logs cause like, you, you sound very familiar. You changed your name- oh my god! Han, you didn't tell me! <laughs> but, okay, Aslan. Got it, boss. <clears throat> Yo, Megan. What's this I hear about you having some kind of secret project? I was hoping you might be producing a low-budget yet artistically groundbreaking feature film. And so I dropped everything to get my headshots updated. When I found out- Then when I found out you've been working behind the scenes to get KK a gig to Timbaland. That's even cooler, but ooh. Good as to you. You clearly take this whole resident representative thing pretty seriously. In fact, your dedication inspired me to get something for you. Ooh, what we get? Recognize this? They call it a ball. Oh, Lamau. I think it might come in handy for that special project. <laughs> wink, wink. 
Now I have to leave the rest in your capable hands. Okay, let's see how ugly this ball is. <clears throat> Oops, I, I meant to place Sag. I can spam smile in her chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get all of my... Okay, it's a basketball. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool. It's kind of hip. I'm trying to get all of my streamer friends to enable BTV and then 7TV emotes in their chats. That way I can have fun spammy emotes. Because I want to be a degenerate chatter in their chats as well. <laughs> because I think emote spam is so funny. Like, legit, no cap. It is my favorite part of typing in chat. Just, like, typing dumb jokes with an emote behind it is literally my favorite thing. <laughs> Emotes are great. I know! I love them, dude. Best part of Twitch. I know, like, YouTube streaming, I think, is fine. It's not fully there yet. But, like... If YouTube, like, enable third-party emotes, which I honestly don't think they will. But if there's, like, more emotes on Twitch, or on YouTube, I feel like it would convince people to switch over. Because, like, if you look at the YouTube chat, actually trash. It sucks. Actually dog shit. Like, the only thing that makes it watchable is, I think Ludwig and his team made a third-party extension. To like enable some BTTV and like Pepe emotes, and then also like it changed like the look of the chat box. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. Like, YouTube needs to like basically yoink and twist, like copy Twitch stuff <laughs> for it to like keep up. Because like the audience on YouTube is actually insane. Like, there's so many different international creators on both Twitch and YouTube, but YouTube is just so more like normie, right? Like, I, Ludwig did this really good interview with, um, Shuzen Wojcicki. It's on his YouTube, but it's like an hour-long interview. Oh, dude! I chopped these already! Okay, we did- I think we chopped all the trees. Okay, okay. Glad we got that all done. That took an hour. Um, but I would recommend everyone watching it, because they kind of talk about streaming on YouTube, and just, like, YouTube culture when compared to Twitch culture, and it was a good video. Like, it was a good interview with him. Yeah, I totally agree, um, Azalyn, that especially some chatters don't feel comfortable typing in chat. So I think emotes is a good way to get people who are kind of scared to, like, get them used to just chatting. Or, like, being comfortable to, like, even type something in chat, even if it's just, like, a simple emote, right? Because, like, I, I said this earlier, but in, like, big streamers' chats, I usually just emote spam. Like, in Connor Eats Pants chat, I just, I just be spamming Drake and capital D colons all day. Because <laughs> that's what the chat does. Because when you're in, like, a big streamer's chat, it's just a hive mind, right? Like, you're, you're following what the previous person said, right? <sighs> okay, I need to sell off some stuff. Yes, I cannot wait! Until I get follower emotes. I am so sad that I cannot have any yet. And the reason why is in order to be eligible for follower only emotes, you have to stream for 60 days, which I don't have because I've only been affiliate. Or you have to stream for 60 days after you become affiliate. Um, I've only been affiliate since January, so I don't have 60 days yet. So I, w I was really sad. That I did not have follower emotes. And I remember telling Rainy, and she was like, What? She's like, I didn't know that was a thing. And I was like, Yeah. <laughs> but I'm just glad I have sub emotes, even. Like, I'm really proud of the sub emotes. Like, I think they're pretty cool. I think they're pretty pog. Oh. Okay, now I'll sell some stuff. Chat is one entity. Yeah, it's total hive mind. When you get to a certain size where, like, your chat is, like, popping off. It's definitely, like, a hive mind. I mean, it's not as fun, for, I guess, like, as a streamer, because you, you lose that, like, one-on-one -on -one interaction. But then it's, like, when you're at that size, like, usually chat is just saying funny shit to, like, get your attention. <laughs> and 
I feel like if we ever imagine, imagine, like actually imagine, if we ever get to that point, I think that'd be really fun. Because I personally, like you ever, or bullying, yeah, imagine, actually. <laughs> um, you ever be in like, let's say the streamer has like one to 300 viewers and like their chat like, literally every message is, like, not an emote, so it's just, like, a wall of text. I feel like that chat would not be fun. Like, my ideal would be... Or my ideal chat would be, like... I've changed the ratio. But maybe, like, 60% emotes, and then 40% people saying stuff. Because that way you'll have, like, people saying, like, saying the regular messages... And then also like emote spam to kind of like spice it up a little bit. I think that would be a good ratio chat for me. <laughs> I think it's so funny whenever they react <laughs> to the the bees. Megan, sorry, I just, I mean that looks really painful. You should get some medicine for that to start treating the swelling. Be careful shaking trees, okay? I know they mean well, but just give me some medicine, homie. You see me with a busted up eye, just get me some medicine. <laughs> Drop something? Yeah, I, I had a lost journal earlier. <clears throat> oh, this doesn't belong to me. Come to think of it, I did hear Benjamin was looking for a lost item. Okay, we gotta find Benjamin now. Oh, hey! Hey, guys. Hey, hey, guys. You know what time it is? It is two o'clock. And... It is time for another ad break. I am sorry, but it is part of the show. So, you can avoid that ad break for subscribing for just $4.99 or just $5 a month. It's 11 p.m. Oh yeah, you're, you're foreign. You're EU, Sag. <laughs> well, go to sleep, homie. Anyway, you can subscribe for just $5 a month. That's skipping your Starbucks coffee for today. Literally five bucks. You get ad free viewing and Pago sub emotes. Or, or... If you link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, you can get a free Amazon Prime subscription every month. Give it to me, please. We got an Amazon Prime from Avi earlier. Isn't that cool? Anyway, and that is coming. We will see some of y'all in a few minutes. Can I spell it right? There we go. I spelled it right. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I added <laughs> the ad 70 VM. I saw it in, I think, Sears chat the other day. And I was like, that emote is so funny. <laughs> Muted Lamau. <laughs> also, general rule, don't complain about ads, but you can just spam the ads emote. I think that'd be funny as shit. Or like, muted. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, ad is coming. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Feels bad, man. But actually, no. <laughs> okay. You won't believe this! I found a recipe for a bunny day crown! I wouldn't feel right keeping it all to myself, so I want you to have a copy of the recipe too. <clears throat> There's something so exciting about a new recipe, isn't there? I want to collect lots and lots of eggs to make the most wonderful thing, Snacky. Oh, I think I have a Pepega card emote too. Pepega. Pepega. Card. There it is! I love this one for uh, the Pepega card. <laughs> Kayla's so cute. I know! She's like... Uh, her aesthetic is so cute. It's so good. I would never wear that shit, but it is adorable. Like, dude, I wish I could dress more femme, but then also I don't feel like it sometimes. Like, I have to be in the mood to dress femme, IRL. That's why we're wearing a sweatshirt today, but also it's kind of like an extra bright sweatshirt, so... A bit more neutral. Okay, we need to find Benjamin. Where is he on the map? Benjamin might be home right now. <gasps> oh my god! We have an Amazon Prime sum from Bora Vinci. I appreciate that. Enjoy your ad reviewing and super cool sub emotes. But thank you for the Prime. We got two Primers today? Imagine... Well, thank you, I appreciate it, Vora. You will get your name written at end of stream, which will be here shortly, because I think we're going to be on for like 15 more minutes. Yeah. 
the piece I do punch. I love the punching him out so much, Bora. Like, it is god tier. It is amazing. Okay, let's deliver our shit to Benjamin. Wow, um, <laughs> yikes, your face is looking rough. Did a wasp get you? Man, wasps are nice guys, but you can't be getting up in their business, alright? Oh, their buzzness. Ah, that was good, that was good. <laughs> What's up already? Oh, um, Ave, if you don't mind me asking, today was your first stream, and also, like, your first time chatting, and you, like, primed immediately. Can I ask why you subscribed right away? Right away, was it, like, you like the emotes? You like the content? You wouldn't add for you. And can you tell me why you subscribe? Because not many people will first time chat, first time emotes. You like the emotes? Ah, let's go! Cool. I, I take so much pride in my emotes. I know they're simple. I just think they're so much more fun and cool than like an illustrated emote, TBH. <laughs> All the above, little mouth. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we spin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love the spinning chair. When I, I would do it IRL, like I would spin right now. But the last time we did a spinning chair bit, I almost knocked on my whole desk and, like, killed my whole setup. So we're not doing that bit. Mugu, I'm glad you guys like the emotes. I totally agree with that sentiment, but, like, the main reason why I'm subscribed to Connor Eats Pants is literally, literally just for this emote. Where is it? I love this emote so much. I pay $5 a month just for this one emote because I love it so much. And then also, all the Mizkif emotes genuinely amazing like i i subscribe to miskip just for these ones like they're so good amazing so i'm glad you guys like the emotes anyway back to animal crossing like i'm such a chatter i hate it <laughs> but actually i don't chatting is so much fun tbh okay back to animal crossing <laughs> minus five dollars homie it's just one starbucks coffee it's five dollars it was an amazon prime sub too that cost you nothing literally an amazon prime sub is cost you nothing it's like how they give you like free or like free movies on Prime Video. It's free. <laughs> Can you show me um what you're talking about? Oh cool. I'm glad you're liking the TikToks. Sorry, my knee just like buckled. I need to like massage it for a minute. Cool. It like I love the Prime sub. I used to give it to Hassan every month. But then I would get annoyed if I went into his stream and then I saw I didn't have the emote. So I was like, I'm just going to pay five bucks for a Hassan sub. Like, I don't mind. So now with my prom sub, I kind of rotate it between like a few smaller streamers. Oh, dude. If anybody knows Scootish, newly partnered streamer Scootish. Uh, oh my god, he gave me clothes. Okay, the rule in our house, we have to wear whatever clothes we get from villagers. Oh, fuck. I look like such a dweeb. <sighs> Guys, I hate this rule. We're gonna be running around in our pajamas now until we get a new gift. Sag. Um. What was I saying? <clears throat> so. I literally forgot what I was saying. I hate this. Look, I look like a little five year old in their little onesie. Oh, wait, we can buy new clothes. Easy. Okay, the rule is. I have to wear the gift or I can buy new clothes. That is the rule. I, I'm changing the rules, but I think it's fair because now we have the clothes shop anyway. So I think it's fine to break this rule. <laughs> cheating. No, 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 no. It's not cheating. Coping. It's not cheating, Copium. It's called loopholes. And it's my stream, so I get to make the rules, not cheating. Mm-mm. That's our first time here. Hey there. Welcome to Able Sisters, where we sew fashions made lovely by Claw. Oh, hey. It's the great spot finder, Megan. Thanks for picking this fantastic location for us. We've decided to put down roots here on Tiblet and keep selling our clothes and accessories. Here, let me give you a quick tour of our shop. Okay, so when you first walk in, you'll find our recommended items right there, front and center. We'll change this up every single day, you know, to keep things fresh. Then... Over on the left, you'll find our mannequins. They're dressed up in whatever seasonal op outfits we're into. We change them up from time to time rather than daily. Still, we hope you'll be inspired. And of course, if you see something of the mannequins you like, or you love, you're more than welcome to buy it. Which brings us to the black wall. Here you'll find custom designs brought in by our customers. 
We'd love to display your designs, of course. And if you want any of the designs, they're yours for free. Speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays you'll find our custom designs portal. You can use that kiosk to order designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. This is a lot of talking. <laughs> and the last thing I want to tell you is about is the fitting room. It's on the right side of the shop in the back. This is where you can go try on anything that's available for sale that, that, that day, including all the color variations. Our display space is limited, so the fitting room is also the place to check out items we, we couldn't put on. Now, the fitting room is really great, and it's a terrific way to see how our, an outfit is coming together. I think that's everything. Oh, wow. I guess I get kind of chatty when I'm talking about the shop. Me too, Lamel. Dude, I am actually out of breath. <laughs> We're open every day from 9am to 9pm. I hope I'll be seeing you in here lots. Yeah, people talk. Ooh, this first fit? I like this one. This is like street rare. That looks cool. This one looks too gun ho. This looks like I'm from Texas. I don't like that look. I I kinda Ooh, it's got a mask too. Oh, I can only buy stuff one by one. I wanna buy the whole fit. Okay, I don't I don't like the hat as much though, TBH. Um, let's let's get the sweater. Dude, why is there no button to buy the whole fit? I think that's actually DUM. Okay. We'll just buy the bottoms. We'll buy the, the jacket, shorts, and then the shoes. Dude, all my money's gone. Dude, the shorts were 1k? Oh, it's leather shorts. Okay, that's why. Dude, the shoes are fucking 1500? Can we change right now? Ooh, look at us! Dude, I look so cool. Okay, I, I need to take off the hat. The hat makes me look like a dweeb. Ooh, look at that! I look so cool. Dude, I love the shorts. Okay, let's see what else they have for today. That looks like something Miss Frizzle would wear. I would not wear that. Okay, I, I don't like anything in here. I, I think the mannequin fit was pretty good. <laughs> okay, so I think the last thing we need to do on the island for today is... I think just water our flowers and then we can call it a day. I think that's all. Yeah, because we chopped the wood. We got our eggs. I I'm going to play offline a little bit. Because I'm trying to, like, sell the daily hot item of the day. Like, that way I can just use my gathered resources and craft stuff. But I'll do that offline, because that usually takes, like, a long time. Anybody with like the the bell like pit holes or whatever you call them? Every single time before I knew that the max was 10k, because the one time I buried like 99,000, it spawned $99,000 pouch bells. <laughs> but apparently, you can only get lucky on certain days. So when I when I first played the game, for every single time I buried money, I would bury 99,000, not realizing that only specific days you can do that. So I lost so much money in my original game save. No, I scared the bug! That's the one tree I chopped down by accident. So I decided this is gonna be the bug stump. And this is a horrible place to put it, because as you can see, it's right by the shop. So just instinctively, I'm gonna run by it. Sag. Watering can. Feels bad, man. Oh, they're- Okay, we can eavesdrop, we can eavesdrop. Oh, they're talking again. Oh no, she was talking to the other girl. Or the other guy. Lopez. Okay. 
Simon and I were about to try playing a new rhyme game, little one. I want to go first. Zook. <laughs> the fuck is Zook? Okay. okay, my card says orange. That's easy. Rhymes with, um... Wait. Ah! Well, that was a short game. I didn't expect to win so soon. Two over. That one didn't count. Okay, the next card says, um... Purple? No fair. Do over. Do over. Yeah, I literally don't think anything rhymes with orange. Let's get to water in. Oh, also the creatures right, are, right outside the museum are what- I didn't mean to talk to Ellie. Are creatures I haven't donated yet? I just set them aside. I like to bulk donate. So. It's just me being a hoarder. I don't mean to talk to you, Ellie. I know you're cute. You are adorable, but I don't want to talk to you. I'm trying to do my work. This is my job. Yeah, I'll just push her out of the way. <laughs> That's one thing I can do. Just assert dominance by assaulting someone. <laughs> in a video game, in a video game, guys, that is a joke. That is called a comedy. No, I'm not. I'm not speaking from experience. I'm literally not. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I I get like nervous. Like even when I go to the store, and like you know how you're in the grocery section, and like like if you're in the aisle and you leave your cart in front of another like another rack, like I feel bad doing that sometimes. Cause, like I I don't like being in people's way. But I do not show people- I've never gone Black Friday shopping, so I've never, like, trampled someone to death. <laughs> okay, that was not a good one. Delete that joke. Delete it. Not good. Not good. <laughs> Dude, I don't even hit my sister. I- I literally have never hit my sister. I know it's- it's- I think it's fine to like- like roughhouse with your siblings as long as you like do it together. But I literally never hit my sister. Like even as a joke. Like I never roughhoused with her. Okay, she hit me all the time though. So, I- I- I had the fair chance to like give her like a few like hit backs. But I never did. So... I am one of the most passive people you will ever meet. Physically. Like... If I'm in a debate or an argument, if I'm in, like, debate mode, I will, like, pop off. But otherwise, I keep to myself. I don't cause trouble. I don't like drama. Like, there's some things that I'm passionate about, but most of the time, I let stuff slide. Unless it's, like, a, a, a human rights issue, that's when I'll, like, actually get upset about and, like, actually start debating. <laughs> but otherwise, like, I'm, I'm pretty chill, like... Okay, we got one pink hydrangea, finally. Are there purple hydrangeas? I can't remember. I feel like there should be. <laughs> we have seen the evidence. <laughs> no, 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 it's a parody. It's called acting. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, w I was scripted to punch for that gif that was not taken from a body cam footage video, or... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that was good, buddy. That was good. That that was actually really fucking funny. That was good. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. So I decided I'm gonna put any extra plants that aren't like the rare ones over here on the kind of like deserted sections of the island. Cause I kinda wanna just see like there's loads of flowers all over this section. Cause the theme I wanna go for is like a sanctuary. So I want the whole island to be filled with trees, flowers, and like animal statues. I think that would be cool. So it's kind of like the whole island is like a museum, but for animals. Like a zoo! Okay, not a zoo, because I don't want them to be locked up. But kind of that theme. I think it would be cute. <clears throat> Ooh, new recipe! Ooh, we got 5k, guys! Okay, I think I'm gonna save- Oh, actually, I need to claim that Nook Miles reward that we got. <clears throat> I I've been playing PlayStation a little bit, and like, you know how basically the select and then back button are reversed for the PlayStation controller? It is so annoying. Okay, so we're going to save here. And Sag, no la you laugh you lose today. I will get that troubleshooted and ready for you guys tomorrow. Yeah, I know. It's like, I'm so used to playing Switch. And anytime I go back to PlayStation, the buttons are flipped. And I don't like it. It's D-U-M. <clears throat> okay, so we can go ahead and switch gears to thanking subs. We got two subs today. Imagine. That's pretty cool. That is actually really cool. I appreciate you guys for subbing with Amazon Prime, which is totally free if you link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my phone cam set up, so give me like a hot minute. If anybody is new to stream, to anybody who subscribes, donates, or gives money, you will get your name written at end of stream in my bullet journal. Um, let me actually go grab it so you guys can see it. Dude, I am so sweaty right now. TMI, but you know. <laughs> Lamo. <laughs> um, so these are from last week, or the week before. They get your name written all cute and shit. And stuff. <laughs> yeah, people party. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get the phone cam set up. I'm going to put it on do not disturb mode so I don't dox anybody. Imagine that would suck. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, do not disturb mode is enabled. We're not gonna leak. Oh, dude, my I feel so old. My knees hurt. Okay, phone cam is loading. Hopefully. Oh, frick. Like I said, I upgraded to Windows 11 over the weekend. So this is the first time trying out phone cam. Hope she works. Like, I wish I could have phone cam connected all the time. That way you could have, like, a second cam for something. But it kills my phone battery. Even when it's plugged in, it, it, it eats away the battery. So I can only have it plugged in for, like, a short amount of time. Dude, I hate this right here. Ooh, earlier, too, I had headsets in. Like... It was these headsets, so like it was plugged into my phone, and my phone fell out of my pocket, so like it yanked the cord, and it like clipped my neck, and I got like literally whiplash from the cord after like my headsets got yanked off my head. So there, there was like a little mark right here on my neck, because it scarred. It didn't scar me. <laughs> okay, phone cam is connected. Let's see. Let's see. Oh my god, it works. Let's go! I am a pro streamer. Oh wait, I didn't... I didn't put it up here, Sag. <clears throat> Oops. <laughs> well. I don't have any notifications, so you guys won't see anything. Ha! Imagine. I ain't leaking shit! Okay! So if you subscribe or gift or cheer bits i'll write your name right now oh my god okay let's let's write down our previous primers yeah <laughs> no leaks <gasps> oh my god
god! Imagine you ask for subs and you get subs. What the fuck? Okay. Thank you, Cutie Lee, for the gifted sub. And Azalyn gets the sub. I appreciate that, Cutie Lee. You're gonna get your name written right now. Thank you, Cutie Lee, friend of the show. Also, mod. I appreciate you, Katie. <coughs> okay. This Cutie Lee gifted right now. I think you're second at the leaderboard now, yeah, Katie. Uh, let's. I like this dark purple. I think it's. Cute. <laughs> yeah dude i love what's the emote called rainy wow it is so good it's literally so good just the movement alone is eye-catching it's so good okay so since cuterly gifted a sub to chat she's getting her name written right now just like the title says <laughs> yeah that's what's up oh yeah thank you cuterly for linking you off loose um if you are new to chat, and if you haven't already, I am doing a viewer submitted you laugh you lose segment on my birthday stream in about two weeks, so April 24th. Right now, we have five submissions, which is great, which is cool, which is pog o. Um, So we have five submissions, meaning we have 15 videos, so about 15 minutes of content. So if you guys want that you laugh you lose segment to go on for longer, take some time and fill out that um, Google form link. <laughs> Okay. This is a different pen set. So, like, the bristles are slightly different. But I personally like the look of a straight stroke L versus the loop. I like that look a lot more. It looks a lot more uniform. IMO. Okay. And, like, just that curved line, I think, is pretty. Oops. These pens are lower quality than Tumblr's, but they're pretty decent. Okay, so we had Cutely. Gift. A tier one sub. Cool. Go ahead, add some action lines for movement. little subtleties that add a lot, you know? I think this has to be the day in which I've gotten the most subs. Like, literally. Three in a day? Imagine that is crazy. <laughs> Your handwriting is so good, imagine. Yeah, I practice. I, I sometimes, Ave, if you have go live notifications on for TikTok, I sometimes will do calligraphy streams on there, where I will just like practice and stuff. But for this type of calligraphy, you definitely need like a brush pen or like a dual tip marker. But it's very easy to learn. Um, I talked about it before, but we did the April Fool stream. Okay, earlier we had Avi or whatever subscribe with Prime. You popped in one. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, they're usually not as engaging. Like, I wish I could talk more, but it honestly takes so much concentration to do, like, art or calligraphy in general. Um, anyway, I think, similar to the April Fool's stream, to where, like, ooh, I'll, I write out all of my followers' names in the mouth. I think we will do that every month from now on. Because I think that'll be a fun stream segment, and some people said they liked, like, the more chill vibe and just watching me write. So I think we will do those at the top of every month, maybe. I don't know yet. I'm still thinking about when would be a good day to do it. <clears throat> okay. The only thing I do not like about the phone cam is that it's not stable, so you will see it shaking sometimes. That is a work in progress. If I get a million dollars, I will buy a nice dry bug. I almost forgot how to spell whatever. <laughs> there we go. Or Avi. I keep saying Ave. It's Avi. I said that early. I'm sorry, hon. 
Okay, so we have Avi or whatever. Subscribe with Prime for the first time. Let's go. It's so hot. <laughs> Okay, I feel like the green I grab is very light. Like, you can kind of see it, but it's very light when compared to the dark green. Like, I'm adding accent lines right now. They are a bit difficult to see, but keep in mind they are there. I'm not scamming. Imagine if I scam chat. That would be kind of rude, wouldn't it? Okay. <clears throat> there we had Avi or whatever subscribe with Prime earlier. Look, we filled another page, guys. On to the next. <laughs> I don't care how you pronounce it. Okay. That that's actually cute. <laughs> that's so clever. That's good. Okay. And then we had War of Vinci. Subscribe with Prime as well. This teal color. <laughs> Dude, the last time. <laughs> self report, self report. The last time we had this cam enabled, I accidentally showed feet. Lamau. <laughs> because, like, I was rotating my camera and then I accidentally showed feet. Sag. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again. I'm literally not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna mess up. We're not going to leak our feet again. Feet picks win? Never. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make sure I spell Vora's name right. Well, oh, this teal color is so pretty, though. I love it so much. You know what's so cool to me? is I will often do challenges to where like I will gift chatters subs and it is cool when someone converts from a gifted sub to a premium sub I think that is cool because it shows that my marketing worked <laughs> it's kind of like you know how when you get like a free trial of like Netflix or Disney plus and then you keep paying for it because you like the service a lot I think that is cool. Because I think on my first affiliate stream, oh dude, I think I gifted chat 10 subs. Oh yeah, I did. Because we did a challenge, or I did a challenge, chat did not do the challenge. I did a challenge for, it was Mario Kart. If I didn't get first, I would gift chat subs. And this was January, so I wasn't as good as Mario Kart as, as, as I am now. So I, I didn't get first 10 times. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to give 10 subs. So that's why my sub count was so high for month number one. Does resub... I'm, I'm not going to put the B-E-D because I don't know if there's two Bs in resub. Resub two months. Let's, let's just shorten it. There we go. We had Bora Vinci resubscribe for two months, converting from a gifted sub to an Amazon Prime sub. Let's go. Okay. Um. Anybody want a gift before I put the phone cam away? Anybody? I'll I'll wait ten seconds. Anybody? I'm kidding. Actually, don't. I don't. I think, <laughs> to an extent, I think like asking for gifters is funny. But when that's your whole shtick, I don't think it's funny anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So, I think that'll be all for today. We went longer than anticipated. And we didn't even do You Laugh, You Lose today. So, um, thank you to anybody who came in the stream. I appreciate everyone. Um... I appreciate any chatters, lurkers. We had three subscriptions today, which is actually insane. Like I said, our 
most subscriptions we had in a day ever, I think. So thank you. Um, I will be back again tomorrow. Similar thing to today with Mario Kart and then Animal Crossing. And then on Thursday, we are doing SM3D World on Thursday. Yeah, that that, that is what we're doing. Okay. <clears throat> Just a reminder, if you aren't already, you can go follow my offline stuff. I post on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Please go follow the TikTok. I will do occasional live streams on that platform. And you will see funny haha clips from stream. Oh, gentle reminder. I know we said this like literally five minutes ago. But if you haven't already, click that link to that Google form and fill it out. We have five submissions right now. We would like to have ten. But you know, five is fine. But you know, we got two weeks to do it. So it takes like ten minutes to fill out. Just submit your favorite hi ha ha YouTube videos. And I will laugh to them on stream. Maybe. I don't know. If they're funny, I will laugh. Um, I don't know if anybody I know is live right now, but we can see. Hmm. Let's see. Wait, 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 wait. I need, I need to check something. I need to check something. So we know how Cutie Lee came in the stream and gifted a sub. How long ago? How long? I need to see what time she gifted. Because Cutie Lee just went live. <gasps> that bitch. That bitch. She came in right before she hit go live. Gifted a sub. To get my attention, didn't she? That's fine. She still gave me five bucks, so. I'm fine with that. I'm goofing. I don't- I like Katie. She's my friend. Don't be mean to her. I'm goofing. I'm goofing and gaffing. That- that's actually fucking funny. <laughs> um, okay. So we are going to rain out to Kiji Lee today because she is live. <laughs> Gentle rules. If you are new to chat and don't understand how raids work, we're, I'm going to end stream and then we're all going to go to Kiji Lee's chat room. I typed in chat some general rules. Um, be nice to whoever we read out to. Anyone I read it to is going to be my friend. So if you are mean to them or rude, they will tell me and I will ban you here. I don't care. Just be nice to them because Kiri Lee is my friend. Um, also, if you are a non-subscriber, you can type in Peace Raid in her chat. If you are a subscriber, you can type in Peace I2 Spin or Meg Spin. Peace Raid. <laughs> and then Peace I2 Spin again. If you are a subscriber. If you're a lucky subscriber. Um, so you can copy and paste those messages. And then when we head into her chat, you can... Um, type that in her chat, that way she knows we are there. Um, as I said earlier, I will be live again tomorrow. So I will see you guys tomorrow at 11 a.m. PST with more Mario Kart and Animal Crossing. So I'll be in Katie's chat for like a few minutes because I have to go eat lunch. Bye, buddy. <laughs> Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Oh, I didn't I did do the fucking raid command. Lamau. <laughs> yeah, see you next time. I appreciate you coming into stream today, Avi. I hope you have a good one. We'll see you around. Dude, I, I cannot believe that I forgot to type in the recommend. Okay, I will see you guys in Katie's chat for a little bit, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Oh, come on. Let me raid. I got five more seconds. Five more seconds. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs>